But without further ado, let's jump in. We're going to go for... We're not going to do the, the secret ones. We're going to leave the secret ones for now. So we're going to go into Magma Garden here, which is the first one of the final ones, it seems, in this area. And... Uh, Two of these to find, it seems. Doesn't appear that there is any, um, like the stone tablets to find. So, we don't have to worry too much about those. We don't have to worry about those at all. Okay, so, um, what we got to light up here? We'll light up the. We've got another one to find. We didn't find all the crystals. Well, let's get right onto that, shall we? It's going to be like in the most hiddenest place. There we are. There it is. Excellent. All right, so. Hopefully everything's looking all right. I'm just checking the movement. So I have gone back up to 60 FPS again, so... But I've turned down the like scaling option the way it's downscaled or upscaled. Whatever it is. So I mean I think in here we could do I don't remember what everything does now. It's been the weekend. Alright, so I need to power that. Then blue powers that one. That's fine. So why that one was there. Also, I don't think that's going to help us too much. I think we're going to need to angle that off at a 45 degree. So that's not going to help us, so we then want to go back across to here. Would it even help if we went sort of... No, that's not going to help, is it? Okay, so let's knock that off at 45 degrees. So that's not really going to be a feasible option, is it? But you see, we need to split this off. Unless we can do something different whereby we kind of like come through like a different location with this. I'm not quite sure how I would pull that off though. So we need to hit that as well. So, yeah. I almost feel like we could do something like this. That would angle off there into there and hit that one. I need to hit that from over here. Let's 
See, that's where I'd kind of want my 45 degree mirror, but I've only got one of them. That would need to go through. Yeah, you see that just completely wrecks everything. I would need to go through this one still. But then, yeah, as much as that would work, that I then block that. So because I block that, I can't then place the mirror where I need it there. So, I mean, if I could bring it back a little bit, maybe. See, how do I hit this? I just feel like I need to put one through here, change the color of it here, and send it back over to there. It's kind of like that would be a good place to put one. that whole thing so if that's pointing to there I need something to come into across here
So if I could just kind of do... See, that's the issue. But looking at it like this, it's quite interesting to note that the like splitter can actually it is at a 45 degree angle. Something I never really picked up before. So it reflects it off at a 45 degree angle. So wherever we run into trouble where we need to kind of change the angle again. We could technically use the splitter. To level it off again. So, maybe we split it here. Maybe we split it first. So I do have three things here. See, that's all right, but now I'm not, I'm not activating this one, which is not okay. Plus, I haven't got anything there. So, I could do that. and inadvertently solving it. But we're not done just yet. Oh no. So now we have the teleporting blocks. Oh, excuse me.
So that's all well and good, but there's then we're missing. So we could do that. So, observations are, we're not going to directly angle out of one of the um, teleporter blocks into like the multi-crystal thing, because it's not on the same diagonal plane. Um, You see, that one just gets completely wasted doing that. That gives us nothing. Nor does that. Can't hit that through there though, so we're then missing this one here. So we're going to go through this one first, and the 45 degree angle one's going to go there, right? So my hunch is, that one goes there. And then we have something going across here like this.
So nothing goes there. So that's going to hit directly. So that then makes me feel like the split has got to go here. No, not splitter. We're going to go into the. We're going to go into this. Nothing across here though, have we? We don't need anything here. Nine space is free to put three things. See, if something's got to go here, it makes no sense for it to be that splitter. Okay. So we can either do... We could do that, but it's quite apparent that that's then going to aim directly into there looking at what we've got and what we haven't got so putting anything over here isn't going to work so i think that from that i deduce that we need to use this straight into here which means we're then going to have We want the forty-five degree mirror here. Sorry, the ninety degree mirror. So I'm thinking we send something back through.
You see, to get that to work, I need to level that off. I'm pretty sure this has got to be the 45. Sorry, the 90. There we go. There we go. That was pretty complicated. It doesn't look like we're getting any respite either. Right, just found all the collectibles. Only the might of the light could keep the goddess of fire in her slumber. This one's kind of interesting. You see, I, I would have proposed to do that, but the problem with that is I need two reds. So we can't use the splitter before it goes through here. I've already got 45 degree angle mirrors as well. So we're going to have a red light. So first of all, we need to aim it through the blue. Once it's gone through blue, I 
Well, he's not going to be at red, but the problem is with that. Hmm. You see, the problem is with this is that it will it straightens itself out on two forty-five degree mirrors. Not ideal. And of course, um, we're short on distance as well, kind of. There's no blocks left with this one even, so it's not like it can even do like that because I mean, the other thing was, if I could have just, like, got it to here, but I don't have no way then to... I mean, long story short, sorry. Long story short here is it doesn't matter which side I do it because it's symmetrical. It's completely symmetrical. See, that's not going to work either because I need to...
So if that's that and that, then that would suggest to me... See, then I run out of steam there. Can't put the like the split there because we can't go through that wall with the the light, so that would be a waste of time. I'm pretty sure the split has to go there. If the split goes there. We have to have them warm. So that's all our positions. That's that's where everything needs to be. So Come off there, so that one's got to point back over to here, surely. I don't understand though where the whole. So we'll just go over here. We'll angle that to there. So 
See, that's more of an, an exit strategy to me. But doing this... Doing that, I don't have enough pieces. So... see that one did we I'll be honest the blind fury and lust for destruction within this pit rest once more I was so sure that that freaking splitter went where it did the well and doesn't see right. new round access granted I ran in the jungle and the statues of scorn Dread has crept and wrapped itself around decaying stones. Diffractor, when light becomes tangled, ro a tangled rope, specific tools are required to untie knots. Okay, so this is basically what this is doing is it's splitting open. Okay. It's splitting open. It's splitting light. So it's like the, um, it's like at the prisms in uh, Lumina, effectively. kind of need to
Good on money. Welcome along. Um, hmm. No, it's not a Talos based game. It's um It's just basically um a set of light puzzles. If I could do that I could point that into there. Likewise if that was there I could point that to there. Hold on. Um, there we go. Got it. So we have some secret seal things to open on here. Let's find our collectibles first. Yeah, it gets pretty complex. It's uh, sure is. To green. I need to be there. Ha. Huh. So we can illuminate that. But I don't think we can use both the angles to do this because we need to kind of use an angle so it would make more sense to have Uh, yes, I did. I did. So, if you ever color this, like, with this prism kind of thing, is it will always. It's always going to put that off at a. 45 degrees. It's always going to put that in a straight line. Let's go off that direction. Where's that gotta go? 
Well, why am I not getting the angle? All right, that's the angle. Don't panic. But that needs to be like before that. Um. Yeah, so that would need to come off there instead. Um, well, the I'm trying to light these two pillars up. This this purple one here and this one here. So this is basically to unlock part of a secret. But the to actually get to the end of level, I need to light up the crystal looking things. So uh, these three objects here. But I'm just trying to work out the secret bit first before I actually get my uh, get into the puzzle. Doing anything with that at that position kind of straightens everything out and kind of ruins what I wanted to do. think you do oh right, what's the setup I had I'll go there because I can't position the crystal anywhere after that.
different shape reflectors yeah so the the ones that are flat topped uh, reflect at a 45 degree angle and the ones that are sort of hexagon shaped they reflect at a 90 degree angle See, so I'm thinking, could I, if I could go in like this side here, into this teleporter, that would then just automatically fire that out where I need it. But that would need to be tweaked ever so slightly here. See, that's what I want, but I want to go into that one rather than this one. But that would also mean I can't have this here. Yeah, quite annoying, but very clever at the same time.
this is this is this is the thing I found like quite a lot of is that I can do one but I can't do both at the same time like all through this game, which is what makes this game pretty tough. Kind of feels like a double reflection's needed. more worrying is that I've not even started to contemplate how to I've not even started to contemplate how to do the other bit it's quite worrying So I've got to be here to hit the green one where this reflector is right here. Don't 
that's pretty much the only place you can hit it from. I wonder if I can... I, I was just wondering if I could like reflect it back through the portal, which sometimes works. But I would need to reflect it back on the other side. So that comes out there and reflects back off to off there. I think I've got to go through this um, portal twice to get it working.
I mean, it is only to unlock the secret stuff, so I mean, maybe I shouldn't bother myself too much with it. It's pretty freaking tough. Well, the white can't travel through there. Okay. Then the problem with that is I don't go through the... I'm not going through this white crystal here. Oh man. Having a 90 degree mirror there seems like the only logical solution for that. Unless here I could do this instead. lose the green if I do that. Hmm. 
Yeah, so yeah, the uh, the, the laser strength, you'll, you've probably noticed that it's like weakening. It's like there it stops, so yeah, the lasers can only travel a certain distance before you need a repeater, but we haven't got any repeaters in this puzzle. <laughs> oh, I really should play this game like late at night. My brain's not cut out for it. But you can see there, look, I've got no distance at all on my purple and green because um, I've run out of room. That'd probably work if I had a slanted mirror. Uh, what do you mean? I've done loads of stuff since, uh, oh, I've done loads of stuff since uh, the the uh, this like prism thing only reflects at ninety degrees. If that's what you're talking about. You think you've got it?
Obviously, where there's a circle on the board, that indicates that a piece has to go there. So those three spaces I know is, have got to be occupied for the solution. Um, just in case you, you wasn't aware of that. have come back so I can actually uh, I can now check some more spaces more just playing around there for the um we'll say though it's, it's pretty hard to see where things are and where things aren't like where this, in this in this like environment it's kind of hard to see which things I have selected and which I haven't. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, well, six spaces and five pieces. It's the green one which kind of does all the work. It's kind of like a double reflection out of the um Yeah, no, I've not got the extras, so I still need to I still need to work out. I'm just gonna take a screenshot of that while I play around just so I know where everything's gonna go. But yeah, I do still need to work out the extras. So, something across in here has to reflect over to there. No, no. The circles only indicate the main solution. It's nothing to do with the extra bits. What do we have before? We had this. We had a 45 degree going over to there. I think with another 45 degree to there. Because that was pointing over to there, wasn't it? So 
So that would mean... Has to be there. You see, I, I think the only way to get this green one really is to... Have the green laser angling there. And like that. So that would have to be the green laser setup. But then, I can't remember how I had this set up before. And plus I can't use that because it's using too many spaces to get into the green. Um, which is unfortunate. I can't remember my setup here though now. Oh man. Thanks for stopping by. Take it easy. Yeah, that's the closest I've been. Yeah, I, I. This one's tough.
No, Ragnosh, don't come in here. <laughs> oh, jeez. You guys always turn up when I'm like freaking at my worst. What's going on, guys? Welcome along. Hope you are all well. Thank you very much for the raid. Raggy. Welcome, uh, Beaker, Rexon, Horn Badger, Bommels, just chilling. Uh, Tiger Bill, what's going on, everybody? Um, Horn Badger, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Uh, yeah, so because I'm like a freaking absolute, um, also, uh, Jeez, I'm all over the place right now. Rexon, well, thank you very much for the follow as well. Appreciate it. <laughs> so because I'm freaking a absolute um, sucker and I like to punish myself, I like to play hard puzzle games. And um, yeah, this is freaking hard laser freaking redirecting lights, splitting lights into different paths kind of puzzle um you've kind of joined me right now where what's going on tinko um you join me right now where i've worked out the um uh, i've worked out the main puzzle but there's like extra puzzles to like solve where i've got to kind of light these two different colored things here tinko thank you very much for the follow buddy really appreciate it um but yeah, uh, I've got the purple one worked out, and I just, I just cannot, for the life of me, work out this green one, and it's just driving me absolutely insane. Like I said, you guys always seem to, you always seem to pick the the, the one spot when I'm freaking at my worst, <laughs> pulling my hair out. Yeah, you can rotate all the mirrors, so basically, sort of to fill you in what everything does. Um, the ones that got flat edges uh, reflect at a 45 degree angle, whereas the ones that are hexagon shaped reflect at a 90 degree angle. Um, and then this little thing here, this um, splits the white beam of light, like so. So, uh, yeah, we can do various splittings and, and bits and pieces with that. Uh, which is all good, which is all good, but yeah, I just, at the moment, I cannot. Unbelievable! <sighs> Unfreaking believable! <laughs> oh boy! All right. Well, um, luckily I took a screenshot of um, where everything else needs to go. So let me just um, set up the rest of this puzzle. I can move the move move the frick on uh, to something else because. Uh, Oh, where's that go? It goes there, I think. But yeah, it's some pretty freaking complex um, light reflection stuff going on right now. So, uh, if you're into puzzle games, it's a pretty freaking solid puzzle game, um, for sure. Like I say, I'm a, I'm, I'm the kind of guy I, I like puzzle games a lot. Um, my whole YouTube channel is pretty much based around playing Portal Two community maps. Uh, on a daily basis. Um, some of my favorite games are puzzle games. So, um, yeah, I'm used to the pain. If I'm not playing puzzle games, then I'm playing freaking games that make me rage because you have to do the same thing over and over and over again, like uh, <laughs> um, Celeste. So in between levels, you're gonna get a little bit of rest, but there's kind of like a bit of like a find the hidden object kind of thing, which is quite nice. It gives you a nice little break in between levels. Um, so yeah, we're looking for like one crystal and then one uh, panel, kind of like this one right here. And then uh, once you've got all them, see, oops, not that one hiding there. I thought it was maybe being sneaky and hiding there. So hardly see the freaking thing. They normally um, give you a bit of story or explain. Uh, what new pieces of the uh, puzzle and bits of pieces are going to do uh, as and when you get them. So I'm looking for a crystal though somewhere. 
I normally like to hide them. Pretty good. How was the uh, how's the open lobby tonight, guys? I really need to um, I really need to dust off this thing at some point and uh, get back in and join you. But um, I don't know. I've just not been I've not been feeling the love at the minute. I just really I'm really been struggling with um, my new wheel since I got it. I'm just not used to the pedals at all and I'm really struggling with the pedals. I just need to find time to practice. Um, and I'd rather not compete in open lobbies and stuff while there's the chance I'm going to be the guy that freaking rams everybody else off the track and causes the turn one incident. So, all right, so that's all the hints to found. Let's see what we've got to do here. So we've got to split off. Um, yeah. I felt like I had some good pace um, really early on. Uh, but then uh, since I've changed my wheel, because my previous wheel, the pedals were kind of like plastic. I, I, yeah, they were plastic. So I really didn't need to put a lot of force behind them. Um, whereas the, the, G, the G29 the is obviously solid metal pedals and you really have to put force on. And I, I find myself a lot of the time, even though I feel like I'm putting enough force behind the pedal um i'm not so i end up don't not breaking enough missing breaking points hitting like when i've been playing against the ai i'll end up fucking rear ending the ai um so yeah a bit a bit depressing really <laughs> if i'm honest so we've got some different mechanics in this one these round things here once i activate both colors on here uh, I should be able to show you, maybe. Yeah, I know, JC. Uh, I agree. So once I activate both of these with the white, these turn on, and I can use these as kind of like lasers that I can move around myself and, and rotate at different angles like such, um, which is pretty cool. Um... You got the G27, but I had them for 10 years, so I used the pedals. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I've seen some I've seen some modded ones as well where rather than them being uh, the pedals like the, the axis of the pedal being at the bottom, they're kinda of like mounted at the top. So you like you push them like that rather than push them like that. Um I don't. I, I was wondering whether or not that would be kind of like easier to use. Um, so yeah, potentially I might be looking at um, doing some with something with that in the future. So what we're gonna do here is we kind of gotta split this off. I don't know how we're gonna split this off. So we could put this here, angle that there, and do something like that. Um, now the problem from there is we can't then reuse the white, which is the, the problem. So. Maybe we could do something like this. And then... So you think you got it all worked out and it throws you a curveball like that. Um, <laughs> Alright, maybe not. Piece of cake. See, look, you just need a hard one and everything falls into place and you can smash the next one out of the park. Oh dear. Um, let's go for Whispering Rocks. I got some hidden stuff here to, I uh, got some hidden blocks as well to activate here. White one here, green one there, and a purple one there. So we've got to do three on this one. That's uh, be a little bit tricky. Yeah, no worries, Tom Badger. Thank you very much, Tom Badger. I appreciate everybody that. Uh, Came by to say hi from the raid from Raggy. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Good night. God bless. All that sort of stuff. Take care. Um, 
All right, so. No worries, Tinko. Thanks very much. Appreciate the follow. Thank you very much, my man. Oh, there, I've got a purple one there. So we've got to do the white. So if we've got to do the white there, then we've got to use one of these things. So this basically splits off the light. Like so. So if I can kind of like reflect that at an angle. Then i got to reuse this somehow. Could do something along the lines of where is that? That's there. Hmm. It's pretty tricky because it's like not lined up the same spot, so. Not really sure how we'd go about this one, if I'm honest. You think the split near the start? I mean, I suppose I could buy myself a bit. I mean, that's probably like the earliest I can go because I can't place this anymore over here to hit that. So um, it's pretty not a bad shout because then that gives me a lot more room to play around with this. Um, it's really tricky. I can't really see where I'm hitting. So, I mean, we could do that. Oh, JC, you're a boss. Kudos, JC, there with the uh, the massive. This is what you got to do. I'm an absolute puzzle legend. <laughs> All right. So now that's done, we can concentrate on. Um, doing this so we've got we've got to hit two whites so excuse me if we're gonna hit two whites that's gonna be tricky actually oh you know what I reckon they're being sneaky here I reckon what they want me to do here is if I split out the colors like this, uh, let's just this one we've got a bit more room. I'm not too bothered at the moment about doing anything like there. But so if we do this, can I then? Yeah. Okay. So what I got to do here is I got to. Hit one of the white crystals, split the lasers to hit the other two. Actually, I might not even need to do that. That might be overcomplicating. Mm, no, it won't be overcomplicating. Unless I use this to do the splitting. So obviously if I can reflect the two colours back into the mirror at the same points. Can I put the mirror on the bush? No, no. You can only put it on the actual floor surface. So obviously where, wherever there's a square, that's uh, so where you can put it. If there's a red square there, then obviously where the, these crystals and things are, you can't put anything there. But no, I, I see what you're trying to say. If, you could, if I could reflect that off, that would give me the second green back. I think it all comes down to whether or not I use the, whether I take that approach. 
So if I use the 45 degree mirror, I could reflect that back to there, doing that. I just feel like I, because of the position of the green, I need to use the... I would need that set up. But with that set up, how would I then... The, the problem about recombining is that I've got to set it two ways. So I've got two white crystals to hit. I've got this one here and this one here. Which is why I thought initially about splitting the white off so that that one gets hit first. Um... In likewise, I can split. Oh, it's not. It's not the right angle that I can do. I haven't played Factorio, because I have played. Um, have played through Infinite Factory. Uh, I don't know if it's a similar sort of thing. When well, in Factory, you've um, you're kind of building factories and stuff. Remember back where it was? What this one here? Yeah. So in Fear Factory, you've got like conveyors and different bits and pieces, and they give you uh, something you've got to build. I'll uh, I'll check it out for sure. Definitely. So, I mean, we could do that, and we could do that. But... I feel like we're going to have to, like, reflect back into a mirror at, at some of some description at some point. That green one is just in such an awkward position. Which is why I feel like we need to split off the green into two different streams. But I, I just don't see how I can then... So let's do it there. I 
Let's see how that really helps. Because I can't position anything behind the... Um, because I can't position anything behind the white crystals, it's, 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 it's difficult. What I wanted to try, and I, I don't really see how, I, I don't think I can pull it off, but was to, if I could reflect that off like over here, So oh, I could do it from here actually. So do that and do that. See that's an option. Potentially. But it renders purple. I, I can't use purple if I put that there. So that's the only position that would go if I could reuse. But if that's the, I don't know if that's the case though, can I do that? Put the mirror in. F I'll say it comes in from this way. Okay. Uh, that would be a right angled mirror. I need the mirror. Okay, that's something. I'm trying to think, is there a plane here? So if I could get both my little crystals, not there, though, is it? It's these don't land on the same. I was just checking to see if they land on the same plane, but they don't. Okay. I think we're getting close. Now the only issue is How do I hit the last one? You know, I'm just going to validate some positions here. All right, so there is one there. There is one there. And there is one there. So I, I believe they are correct positionings for those three. For those three there, which is good. So logic says to me that I, yeah, I need to reflect these in to get the white out somewhere. It's like a car alarm going off, but I think it's actually just the, um, it's actually the thing. Ow, ears. Um... Maybe I'm reflecting the wrong thing into the wrong thing. Maybe not.
That's it. Got it. Ooh, I thought I got it. Damn that false hope. That's it. No, it's not it. <laughs> Damn it again. Oh, that's it. There we go. Got it. We got it. Oh, man. Uh, got three more in here to do. And then that one. So we're not actually that much further away from the end of the game. Uh, without doing like all the extra bits and pieces, at least. Um, three, four, uh, five or six tonight. So, I think I'm going to call it there tonight, guys, actually, because um, time's getting on. My brain's getting fried. Um, doesn't help that I do problem solving all day, every day, and then come to this late at night. But uh, thank you very much, everybody, for tuning in. Thanks, everybody, for stopping by. Thanks, Reggie, for the raid. Thanks, everybody, that came and stopped by from the raid. Um, for anybody that's interested, I'll be back playing this again tomorrow night. Um, so, if you don't do anything after the Rag Nation finishes up, Come and uh, shout at me. Give me some encouragement, <laughs> etc., etc. I appreciate the support, guys. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of your evening. I've been Nock. You've been awesome. See ya.